It's Nietzsche, it's Nietzsche, it's Nietzsche Saturday, hey! Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Miranda, and I'm Mrs. Thinking of a Master Plan, here with another edition of Nietzsche Saturday. But this one is special, because we are going to set up my 2020 skinny classic happy planner. Before we jump in, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you show me some love by giving me that thumbs up. Hey, comment below and let me know what planner are you currently using to track your health and fitness or wellness. And last but not least, if you have not had the opportunity to join me and the other Bellas, hey, what are you waiting on? I would absolutely love to have you as one of my subscribers, so hit, simply hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell and boom, boom, bam. Just like that, you are a part of the team okay so let us jump in so i will tell you that um i'm definitely definitely not keeping these black plastic rim rims rims i'm not keeping these black plastic discs on this planner um as jasmine and i like to say and by jasmine i mean my girl jasmine silver over at jasmine silver plans we always say that when we get our planners, we put rims on it. So I'm gonna rim this planner up with some purple classic size disc. And I think it will be super cute. It's gonna match this pretty good. I've already checked it out, I eyeballed it. And um, so we're gonna start with doing that, setting up the planner um to make it work for me i'm not doing a lot of anything that's extremely special to the planner but i certainly want to um you know make it my own and that's the beauty of the happy planner disc bound system that you're able to totally make it your own oops so now these classic discs are going to be fine on here it just has to get used to it and what we're going to do is we're going to start taking this off and I'm gonna move this out because this is our setup for um, this month. And I'm gonna just take a month at a time and just kind of put it in here as you would setting up any other type of uh, happy planner. Now, when you take more than a month, I feel like it stresses and stretch, stresses and stretches your paper. And so you don't want your paper to be ill-fitted on your disc or easy to fall out. So when you take about a month at a time, plus it gives us an opportunity to go through and look at all these cute little uh, dividers in here. So you'll notice that I'm going to be doing, because this is still gonna be Nietzsche Saturday because at, before we had this skinny classic, we had a, Habe a Habenichi Fobonichi. And so for me, that's what this planner will always be. And that's what I will be doing on Saturdays is planning in this. Um, but the thing I um, like about it is that when I am bored of this layout, and I know that probably soon I will be bored of this layout, I will just create my own layout using lovely half notes, half sheets. So that's something that you can totally look forward to in 2020 in terms of this particular planner. So I am feeling it and I hope you guys are getting to check out all the cute little dashboards that appear here. Yes, I'm kind of excited about how good it's looking. About how good everything is looking. All right. So that is amazing. Okay. I like this one. Keep your heels, head, and standards high. And that was by Coco Chanel. I love how it looks. So you're just popping this in. And again, if you hear noise in the back, I have a family that still I'm here, and of course my bonus son is here. and He's playing video games. He was just washing dishes. He chose the time of day that I decided to record a video to come downstairs and wash dishes. And I don't know if you guys are aware, but my office, even though it's a nice size, it 
was supposed to be the formal diner, dining room, but because I have an Eden kitchen, it was not necessary for me, nor did I want a formal dining room. So that is my office and it actually is open. Um, so one of the projects that I would like to complete in my home this year is to actually put some French doors on my um, office. It's gonna be a little bit more costly because it's gonna be a custom French door. But I'm looking, I think I wanna try fold where it can fold out and open if I want it open. But just like when I'm recording, I would like to close it. Typically when I'm at home working, um, it's never an issue. Everyone kind of knows that I'm working and, you know, there can be some noise. It's not like it has to be super quiet when I'm working. Like, um, and I have two of these and that's why, did you guys see how I was struggling to get this off? That's because I decided to take two. I didn't notice. I thought I had one month and I actually had two. So, yeah. Gonna get this in here. Get it going on the disc. And so he does, uh, my bonus son does talk a lot of uh, trash talking when he's on his game. So you probably can hear him in the back talking a little trash as he got some extra time on the game. All right, so. All right. So I'm gonna say that that is super pretty. And um, I'm going to, I have not put a name tag in here, but I thought I would use this, um, like this hot pink. So we're going to grab it. And this is on the clear paper that's foiled. So definitely loving it. So we're just gonna put this here. And so now the planner is official because my name is in there. And I will have the um, the name decals if you're interested or the name stickers. So you let me know if you want it in a vinyl. I have various color vinyl or if you prefer clear sticker on matte paper um, or a special colored uh, vinyl. Okay, so. I thought it would be good to go into this and um, I'm going to highlight exactly um, I'm going to highlight exactly where and when my um, meetings are All right, yeah. so it is actually going to be trying to go to the meetings on Tuesdays so we're just gonna highlight. Actually, I think I can just highlight down here. And all I'm doing is following, following the pattern that is already on here. So we're gonna do half of the year. I'm not gonna do the whole year because something with the meetings could change, the dates could change, the times could change, things like that. So, um, so in February, we would go on the 4th, so have this four right here and may we would go starting the fifth so i thought i would do that just marking down days that we know that we need to be in a weight watchers meeting so this will be march love that color and then we have a purple for April. And that starts on the 7th. And there we go. All right, so that is just outlining all my Weight Watchers meetings for the first six months of 2020. All right, then the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to go here and remove this and work on this Currently page. So the currently page I thought could be a combination of um, just some positive motivation for the month, not really a whole lot. And I pulled these stickers from our new fitness um, sticker pad, also our um, fitness accessory book and the figures, figures, the fitness sticker book. All right, so this says, eat like you love yourself. This one says, 
You won't always love the workout, but you will love the results. I love this cardio is hardio. I really love that one. So I'm trying to just put some positive affirmations here. I'm actually placing a habit tracker on this as well because I want to um, track going to the meetings. And then I thought I would throw in a little shoe over here for cardio. This one with the sports bra says, um, focus on you. And, and that's what weight loss is all about. It's not something you can do because you love your husband. It's not something you can do because you love your kids. It, it's got to be all you. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this up and cover the important because we don't really need that for anything. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Pull off this top to this undo. And then we're going to take the scooper and we're just going to scoop it up. And it should come up pretty easy. I actually can pull it up with my hand. I'm being a little extra. But we're going to move this up here. And when it dries, it will dry all clear. So we'll give it a few minutes. We need to white out. I can already see that important because I can see it through there. And not trying to be anal or anything, but I just don't like to, is this empty? Why do I pick up empty things? Get another one. All right, here we go. Perfect. And the only reason why that came up is because the undo is not dry yet and I'm just being impatient. All right, so we're gonna kind of put this up here because we did not need that. And um, we wanna put meal prep because that is important. And then I'm also going to put workout. And by workout, I don't mean getting up and like doing a major workout because I wasn't doing that before 2020, I'm certainly not going to be starting now to um, just become this gym rat. It's not happening. But I mean, I'm incorporating a morning routine. I do have definite goals with my, with my steps and I want to see myself to be able to execute those appropriately. So this page is totally a page about um, positive quotes and self-motivation. So... That is where we are. Um, we could take it a step further and underline all the Tuesdays, but I will not do that. So we're gonna pop this back into the planner. All right, so this perpetual calendar, and I like that they have it out in the front. Um, I don't exactly know what I'm going to track. I thought about, and I seen someone do it where she tracked her steps, but I also like to track my steps on the daily. So maybe I'll track it on a daily at the end of the month. I'll go and track it there. So if I wanted to go back at a quick glance to see what I was doing for the month in terms of steps, I can go back there and look. So uh, yeah, that's cute. I love how that looks. And so we're going to go ahead and plan our very first week in this planner and the very first week of the decade. All right, and this is going to be quick and painless. So um, habit tracker right here, we are wanting to track our actual points, making sure I'm tracking those points on a daily basis. And um, I'm gonna grab the alphabet sticker book here and I'm gonna grab the alphabet sticker book here and we're going to grab the little gold ones and see if we can write points right on there. So this is like that summary column. So we'll put it there and I like it because it's a line so I should be able to get it pretty straight. So points. Loving this, loving it, loving it.
and this end is tearing for whatever reason. Didn't want to come out, but it finally came out. So we're going to hit the points. And I'm glad I took the past two weeks off um, from tracking everything because y'all, your girl has acted a pure donkey and a pure fool. I'm scared to get on the scale. Okay. So that is points there. And then what we want to do is we want to, I wanted to grab this says always believe in yourself. And so that we keep our um, theme pretty consistent across um, the pages. All right. This is where we will track that new weight that I don't want to talk about um, right here. So we'll put this here. And then this says, um, fix your ponytail and try again. So this is reminding me that even though the past couple of weeks, I've not been on my thug thizzle that I can get back on. All right, so these all say workout. Um, something I discovered and uh, I was talking to Jazz about it and it was like, Jazz, what is going on with this, um, the new workout, the new fitness book? Well, the new fitness book simply is colorful boxes that say workout. I mean, am I the only one that thought that or did everyone else notice that as well? Because I was just like, okay. I mean, there are, I'm not saying that there aren't some positive quotes because there's absolutely some positive quotes in there, but at the end of the day, I really feel like it is a whole lot of colorful boxes. And you know, I'm not one to complain. I love colorful boxes. So, and even though this says workout, we're really gonna track our points, our Weight Watchers points there. So. Okay, so we're going to actually put this on Saturday. And we're gonna put this on Sunday. Loving it. And I think I don't have enough steps up here, so I'm gonna have to grab one more. And the steps came from the um, accessory, the fitness accessory book. So, Let me grab one more. I'm glad I didn't put that uh, sticker book away. Let's see what I did with it though. So I can fix that. Huh. Here we go. Mm. So we are going to grab a purple one all right all right oops we got a purple one over there so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pick up one of these move this over here and put this purple one down here all right so I'm feeling that and as y'all can see we have pops of gold on this side of the page, a little on that side of the page. So on Thursdays is when I like to meal plan. So I'm gonna put meal plan down on Thursday, but it's specifically a Weight Watchers meal plan sticker. And then all of these, we are going to track points. So workout, that's um, activity points with Weight Watchers. If you're not familiar, you get activity points as well for moving for doing stuff you're already doing. And so, this is the food points. And I wonder if it'll look better there. Well, right now I'm already putting it here, so we're gonna move forward with that. And maybe that's something we could think of next time. Um, we need to go up on Tuesday and add the meeting. And these are the small ones, and because I have medium, 
I have just like a normal size and then these are the smaller ones and I think you guys have seen me use the bigger ones so we're gonna put this meeting here on Tuesday and then we're gonna just go through and we're going to add our points love it love it love it love it all right just like that my happy nietzsche is set up for the week of december 30th through january 5th 2020 i'm super excited to say 2020 how many of you guys will be like me and it takes you like two weeks to start writing 2020 instead of 2019 because it always does. So I may say 2019, but I totally mean 2020. So I'm super excited to get jump started into this planner. And I hope you guys enjoyed the lineup. And just to remind you of what that is looking like with those purple classic discs. Let's pop our pages back in. Did y'all notice this cute little bag right there? It's so cute. And then we've already highlighted our Tuesdays. I didn't put any notes in there. We have this encouragement page right there and we're going to add this here and boom there we have it for our first happenichi slash skinny classic planner spread for 2020 i hope you guys enjoyed if so don't forget the three things like comment and subscribe I'll see you soon. Ciao, Bella.